In this session, we're going to try to put everything uh, together, both pattern analysis and technical indicators. And I'm going to show you a number of examples of uh, winning trades I put on this year and uh, show you how and why I entered them, the confirmation that I got to enter them and take the trade and where I put my stops to, to exit a trade with some profit. When I look at any market for a trading opportunity, I like to look at the big picture, monthly or weekly charts, to find out what is going out there long term. What's the long term trend? For example, in the bond market, really since the early 80s, the bond market has been in a strong bull run, has it not? Higher highs, higher lows, well established uptrend line. And yet within that long-term trend have been many trading opportunities both up and down. But the overall bias is up. If you'll notice from the peak in the mid-80s, the bond market formed a very broad, wide-swinging trading range which formed a symmetrical triangle. In the early 90s, you broke out of that symmetrical triangle, had an initial breakout, the market collapsed, came back to retest that breakout area, and then has since, until last fall, been in a strong bull market. This uptrend line marks very significant and key support, and until that uptrend line is broken, you have to believe that any setback in the market is nothing more than a bull market correction. I also like to use monthly stochastics. I just use the 14 period monthly stochastics. I don't try to optimize the indicator. I'm just looking for a divergent signal or an extreme overbought or oversold position in monthly stochastics because when I look at it from a monthly or weekly degree, I don't really view it as an overbought oversold indicator. I view it as telling me when a trend change is coming. Usually if, if uh, you started here in the early 80s at a very significant low and you peak out a year and a half to two years later in early 1983, stochastics is in its overbought zone and you start to collapse the bond market, stochastics turns down. It tells me you've probably peaked the bond market for 12 to 18 months, and your overall bias should now be on the defense. Uh, you should be looking for selling opportunities instead of buying opportunities. And with that premise in mind, it keeps you out of a lot of trouble. Again, over here in the early 90s, when you broke out of this large symmetrical triangle, even though stochastics weren't extremely oversold, they did turn positive. Confirming the breakout was legitimate. They peaked in their overbought zone with this little high. They came back into mid-range when the bond market pulled back to retest broken resistance, turned sharply higher again with this rally to last fall's top. But notice, even though you had a high in the early 90s and last fall marked the all-time high, notice what happened on stochastics. Again, you had a long-term divergent selling pattern by stochastics telling me that you had indeed posted a very significant top in the bond market. Uh, Another fact that is not shown up in these charts, but if you go back and look at bonds for the last 150 years, a very repetitive, repetitive pattern that happens in the bond market is about the middle of each decade, bonds tend to post their highs, and at the end of the decade, they tend to post their lows. And this pattern has happened over 90% of the time in the last 150 years. That's very good odds, so you've got with that in mind, you've got the bond market posting a major top very near the middle of the 90s, you know, and give or take 12 months. And you've got a long-term 
indicator stochastics showing strong negative divergence, telling me that indeed that pattern of posting a high in the middle of the decade will likely remain true throughout the 90s. We have probably seen the lowest interest rates we're going to see for a period of time. And if you're somebody out there that needs to keep track of interest rates and hedge interest rates, last fall was an ideal time to get coverage on any long-term debt that you needed to service. The market is now at, a, at an important crossroads challenging that uptrend line. We're consolidating there. We haven't done very much. We just sat there on top of this uptrend line right now. I'm not at all confident that that's going to hold because stochastics are still in a bearish mode. Their oversold zone is somewhere down around here. So they still have the potential to go a lot lower. If that's the case, and interest rates may be on the rise again later this year or into early 95, where are my next downside objectives? If I take the early 80 low and last falls low and just find the retracement levels, if I break this long-term uptrend line, my next logical down, uh, downside objective is a 38% retracement at 96.20. Basis the spot contract. And if that fails to support the decline, we could go as deep as 88.20, a 50% retracement of the entire uh, early 80 rally to last falls rally. You have long-term indicators telling me additional weakness is possible. The market is at a very important crossroads right now. What happens in the next couple of months could be significant. But uh, this is the case that you can look at for any commodity, whether it's corn, cotton, T-bonds, when the market has been in an uptrend and challenging trendline support. Once that trend line is broken, you have confirmed a major top is in place and a downtrend is now beginning. With that uh, long-term bias in mind, I now want to move to the next uh, degree closer to the market, the weekly degree. First of all, you have that same long-term uptrend line that comes off this chart and you'll notice how we're consolidating above that trend line. But let's start looking back two to three years ago where this, uh, the bond market had established a well-defined uptrend channel. Every time the bond market had tested the upper end of that channel, stochastics were giving a diverging double hook sell signal, telling you that that second high had posted an intermediate high in the market and now we were going to see sideways to lower action for the next three to six months which was indeed the case again. Once stochastics got down to its oversold zone and I'm just trying to eyeball these right now but this is very close to their oversold zone turned around you broke out of this little consolidation area in the summer of 1991 Stochastics turn positive, and your bias for the next three to six months should be to the upside. You should be looking for buying opportunities. We had a little high in the fall of 91, uh, a period of consolidation, then it moved to a new high, spiking the upper end of that channel. But again, you saw weekly stochastics giving you a divergent double hook sell signal telling you for the next three to six months the bond market was going to be on the defensive. And again, bonds came back down, retested the bottom of that channel. Once you, once you tested the bottom of that channel and stochastics turns positive, you adjust your trading attitude from bearish to bullish. And this continued on until the fall of 1992 when you broke out above the uptrend channel and then formed a nice little symmetrical triangle. He had broken out above this resistance level and then consolidated at or just below it. But when you broke out above the symmetrical triangle again 
and then above the upper boundary of that extended channel, you knew you may have entered a blow-off phase in a long-term bull market in bonds. Again, stochastics, called a peak right there, turn positive when you broke out above that symmetrical triangle on the weekly degree, and you had a peak in stochastics, very overbought, with this high, the second high marking a double top, showed negative divergence right there. So you had a classic chart pattern, a double top, negative stochastics divergence. If you just draw, switch colors here. If you just draw a nice little trend line off these lows, when it breaks that trend line, you've got a double top. It breaks the trend line. Stochastics are diverging. It tells you at least near term, you've got a trend change coming and a short, uh, you have to adjust your attitude from being bullish to bearish in the bond market. Market came down hard and then consolidated this past winter, forming a bear flag on the weekly degree. That type of formation also told me not to get too euphoric about the bond market while well, we've seen our correction and now we're going to come uh, go back up. That little counter trend rally is also a sign uh, for people to look for another trading opportunity.